30th of March. So I haven't videoed for a few days because it's just busy with um, Easter, school holidays, stuff like that. So I'm off to weigh in. I'm off to pick Michelle up and we're going to weigh in. And I've got to say, I've just had a cheeky little weigh on my scales and Jesus Christ, what have I done to them this morning? I have had a good week, bar one day, a bit of Chinese and a couple of things I shouldn't have. also got to fix my bathroom light upstairs that's not working but apart from that and I'm gonna do um, burger in a bowl tonight and making um, it's yeah I got mince there to use because I was gonna make it the other night and didn't have it so I'm doing burger in a bowl but my mother doesn't fancy that. So I've got some scampi and I've got some frozen chips. And there's a few peas in that. So I'm gonna do my mother scampi and chips. God, it's sunny. Yes, yeah, so my mother's gonna have scampi. I'm having burger in a bowl. Lunchtime. Not sure what I'm having. Um, but I should let you know, yeah. So today's not gonna be very exciting. But I'll let you know um, what I'm eating and what I'm up to. I'm not sure if we're going to the shop or not, me and Michelle. To see if she's um, due home. But we are going to bingo tomorrow. Right, I shall see you in the next clip. Right, we're in group. We've weighed, haven't we? She's got a happy face, I've got a... Anyway, for breakfast, we've both got one of these. We stopped at the garage, 226 26 calories. That's breakfast. Hello, we are back from weighing. We've just done our weighing update, um, so go and check that out if you haven't seen it already. And this 
lines in the middle of the road and my car's beeping again. Well, it's not my car, is it? No. It's beeping again. It's doing some weird beeping stuff. Um, we're on our way to Asda. Michelle wants to get a few bits and I want some burg buns. So I'm going to do the kids' burgers for lunch. Lunch. I'm not sure what I'm having. I think I'm going to do a crimp it for lunch. I've got my new crimp it maker. My the tortilla one. one. Yeah. yeah. So I might make those for lunch. I might do like, I don't know, what can I put in it? Beans and cheese? You do like a tuna melt? I don't <laughs> do fish, do you? <laughs> um, oh God, why did you have to drop the T word into the conversation? Uh, um, maybe. What about corned beef and onion? Maybe make like a corned beef pasta. And a bit of grated carrot. Ooh. But then that's not, you'd have to cook that off wouldn't you? Um, um, what about, let me see. What about like cooked chicken? Yeah. Do cheese. A bit of cheese. Maybe some, I don't know what flavour it's got on it. I don't know. I might Google some recipes on the way. I'm not sure what I'm having. I've got quite a lot of potatoes in. I might do ham, egg and chips. Oh, that's a, that's a, oh, now you're talking. See, I'd have that for dinner rather than lunch. Well, because I'm doing the burger in a bowl tonight. I might do, um... I'll be around for tea. No, I'm having takeaway. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to have, but I'm going to have takeaway. And it's going to be counted. That was quite good what Kieran said as well. When he was talking about, um, like, not blowing your week. And counting, like, if you want to have a bit of a blowout. Yeah. Count it. And then... Just shave it off. Just shave it off the rest of the week, which is mm. true. Yeah. Because I tend to do, I tend to track my ca daily calories. But if I'm, like, 15... 20 calories over yeah or even a couple of hundred calories over yeah that's fine because i'll balance the rest of the week out for it mm. um the thing is i've got loads of stuff in the fridge i've got massive pizzas and stuff but oh, i love pizza the kids can have a burger but they're only small burgers so they can have burger and a bit of pizza Maybe I could do. Oh, that's what I'll do. I'll do like pizza, like a calzone, like a calzone kind of thing mm. in my crumpet. Mm. So what I could do is I could use a little tiny bit of um, tomato, tomato puree, puree right? um, then onions, mushrooms, spring onions. I won't put mushrooms in it because mushrooms go slidey in it, won't I? No. Unless I fry the mushrooms off first. Um, yeah, I could fry the onions and mushrooms off, mm. and maybe some peppers mm. and then bang that in with some ham some cheese and some pepperoni like i've got little mini, mini pepperamis so i could cut up a mini pepperami small yeah bang that in and then mm. crimp it and then put it in the air fryer well i've actually for lunch i know what i'm having i've got a calorie controlled spaghetti carbonara oh, and i've only got a count and a half calories for that yeah i love that i like carbonara I tried making one the other week and it turned like scrambled egg. It weren't good. Mm. I left it. it. What it was, it was too hot, I think. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going to have that. That sounds lush. And I'm going to make Biscoff cheesecake over the weekend as well. Is that a calorie controlled one? Or? Yes. I'll tell you what's in it now. It is. Where's the recipe from? Uh, I found it. I just Googled it and found it. So, I'm not quite sure which company, which, uh. which site it's from. But it is um, Quark Philadelphia Biscoff spread, which I've got in the cupboard. Yeah. Sweetener vanilla extract, which I've got in the cupboard. Mm. Digestive biscuits I've got. Mm. Gelatine I need to pick up. Mm. And Biscoff biscuits to decorate. I got all that. Do you want me to send you it? Yeah. Saying I got all that, I've got everything bar the biscuits. Yeah. Spread and all that. Oh, Warren bought me an excellent grabber. Did he? Yeah. What sort of grabber? Well, I bought one off the internet. I seen it and it looked really good. And when it came, only had it last week. 
it's nothing like they made it out to be. And I gave them feedback telling them how crap it was. And when we had that problem with the drain, I ended up picking up everyone's shitey tissues with it. So I thought, I'm not using that. So it's in the garden now. And I said to one, I need a grabber. I can't reach the top shelves in the cupboard. So he was like, I'll get you a good one. And it came yesterday. It was excellent. Oh, that's good. It's really long. And it's foldable. It's, it comes in three bits. So you can fold it out either once or twice. It's got clips to keep it shut if you fold it up. And the end bit, you can have it as a claw like that, or you can turn it so it's like that. So you can have it like that or like that. Oh, that's good. It's got magnets like on it. So if you drop something, like your key, keys, you can pick them up. Oh, the magnet. that's good. It's really good. Yeah, it's been four for 11. I can't reach top shelf. Well, yesterday when I was cleaning, cleaning and decluttering my kitchen, mm. I was literally up and down like a, a Gary. Gary's dad used to have this little step ladder, and it's like it's only like three steps, but then it's got a handle at the top, so you, you feel. Oh, and the steps quite wide. We had one there. We got one there in yeah. the garage. Yeah, it's not like a. It's, it's like not, a platform. No, not platformy. Oh. It's like three little steps, and then a little platform at the top. Oh yeah. But. Yeah, so I was up on that yesterday, so my, my knee is a little bit grumpy to say the least today. Mine are grumpy. Well, I'm hoping, because the web's gorgeous, mm -hmm. and we're back from shop, we'll be back from shopping fairly early, yeah. that I can, we can, me and Gary are going to take the dog out somewhere today for a decent walk. Nice. Yeah, I'm not sure where yet. I might say to Gary, should we go up to Barry Sidings? It's lovely up there. Yeah. We're having a lazy day. Lush. Kenzie's got to go to work tonight. Um, I'm going to finish off my kitchen. I'm really pleased with that trolley. It was £59, which Warren was like, £59 for that. And I was like, just order it. It looks quite but, sturdy. It looks but quite it's, sturdy. Yeah, it's sturdy. And the top bit is like a chopping block. And you can actually take it off. It's on little feet. But I didn't want it for that. Because I think it's really meant for putting in your kitchen and using it. It's like an extra chopping board. Kind yeah. Of thing, yeah. Right, nice, got it out the way. Looks great with the ninjas. I got more to go on there, but I really wish it had been wider. Yeah. So Get I could have got one. two. Well, I said to Warren about getting another one, but he was like, oh, two. If you've got room for it, then, and it work, works for what it is. I know, but two side by side, I don't know if it'd be a bit. It looked good with all your ninjas in on display though. Mm. Let's see if he's in a good mood when I climb. Yeah. I got um my new kettle and toast is really nice. It's like silver with like little rose gold accents on it. And my mum bought a brand new kettle. Mm. I just don't like it. I don't <laughs> so if you bought her another one. Um she's only probably used it for a week. And it's under a chair in the kitchen. And she oh, said to me the other day, what are we doing with this kettle? And I'm like, well, what do you want to do with it? <laughs> well, I put my, I've, we've got like a local free cycling group type of thing on Facebook. Oh, yeah. So I put, I had like a dinner service that I had donkeys years ago. I haven't been looking at my speed going along there, with these cameras. Ooh. No, I don't think you've been doing 50. I'm doing 53 then. <laughs> fine. Um, yeah, recycling page. Yeah, so I put it on recycling page and every, everything's gone. So I've got a lady coming at 12 o'clock to go and pick up the last bit, um, which is going off to a women's refuge, which is quite nice. If you get what I mean. Like, mm. you feel like you're helping somebody by doing it. Um, You're not going to be a scam like the last time. Oh, that was supposed to be going to a refuge. That was bad. I was so angry. But yeah. No, it's there. this lady seems quite genuine as well, which is good. Um, and then the crocky, we went, went to a lovely lady that I was talking to on Facebook yesterday. Um, she picked it up, yeah. Yeah, she picked up, picked up the crockery yesterday because she was in. She was literally like five minutes down the road, so it's perfect. Mm. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've got one more bag of stuff to go, and then I've got a couple of. I bought. I've got. Do you end up with loads of bowls and cups? Odd ones. Yeah. Yeah. I've got like a bag full of odd bowls and cups so I'm just going to bin those if nobody wants them today um, I'm saying they're down the tip 
Yeah. Put them in. There's a yellow skip in there for like crockery and oh, is stuff. If, we come, if we're out and about passing, I'll pop them down there. If not, I'll just chuck them away. But, um, but yeah, so I had a really good clear out. And it feels really good. Like I feel like my kitchen's organised again now. Did you use them pillows? Oh my god, yeah. I use them on the cupboards. They're good, aren't they? Really good. So, like, you know, like, because I've got. My kitchen's like a country kitchen. Yeah. It's the best way to explain it. So it's like that wooden stuff that seems to just get minging. And I literally grill, I, I used the um, elbow grease degreaser, sprayed them all. Yeah. And then I used the Brillo pad then to scrub them. Yeah, you didn't and, scratch them on that. No, I come out fine. Because it's um, like a wooden look, it looks it looks absolutely fine. Um, and then I even done my cooker hood as well and pulled my cooker hood apart, put in a new filter in the cooker hood. Yeah. So that's all done as well now. So I need to do mm. like a fine, you know, like clean all the worktops and like do it one last clean down. Yeah, yeah. But I've got the the um, drawers that I need to do. That's the last thing I've got left to do, which I'm going to do on Monday when Gary's at work. Um, and then I'll do like one big clean through the kitchen, and then it's all done then. So, because my, my um, packets and stuff like that, and like mm -hmm. cans and stuff, I'd sorted all those out anyway. Yeah. So it's mainly like the crockery and all that sort of stuff I just need to sort out. I think. Yeah. It feels good now, it's all done. It's get, to, get to my slow cooker and my toaster. I threw out my omelette maker. Oh, I've got a brand new one of them in the cupboard. Have you? <laughs> not the, you know like the Weight Watch one where you get two halves? That's the one I've got. Yeah, it's not one of them, it's one single one. Oh, that's good. Um, it's a towel one. Yeah. I had one of the Weight Watchers ones a few years back. But it just, you know like where it gets scratched, like the coating gets scratched and stuff yeah. like that. I was just like, oh, I'm just going to get rid of it. I gave mine away on um, Oreo. Did you? Yeah. Oh, mine, mine was proper scratched and a good few years old, so it probably wouldn't be safe to give it to anybody else. So. I got brand new um, yogurt maker. Have you? But I put it off for sale, no one wants it. £15. I don't know. Make oh, your do you own yogurt. That? Do you remember, have you ever shopped on QVC before? Well, they yeah, used to, I had my Ninja Gnome stuff previously. They used to do, oh, I'm going to Google it and see if they still do it, a thing called um, Easy Yo. I wonder if that's still going. And basically, it's like, you, it's like a oh, powder. Oh, I you know. Mix it yes, up, yes. Leave it in the fridge and it sets. Oh, I'm going to Google it and see if that's still going. That's um, the sort of stuff you can use in the yogurt maker. Is it? You can have it if you want it. That's no, alright. Get an Easy Yo kit. For nothing. Yeah, but I haven't got room for it. I've just cleared all my cupboards out. It's about that big. Yeah, I've cleared all my cupboards out. Nice. You can do other things so. in it other than yogurt. You can make, I think, like porridgey things and stuff in it. <gasps> Easy yo is still going. I think you still need the machine though, don't you? Yeah, let me see what the shop is. Hang on. from Asda I've dropped my shell home and it's half 11 now so thinking about lunch soon I didn't really need anything in Asda when do I ever need anything because my cupboards are full I know my freezer is full I know so I just picked up some snacky bits picked up these i'm going out tomorrow with my friend deb and michelle we're going for a bingo night because i haven't been to bingo for ages have i 
I know. Well, anyway, the football's on and I ain't staying in. And it's Easter Sunday. So, I've got some snacks for the boys while I'm out and they can watch football. These are new. Now, proper chips aren't new, but the flavour is. So, we have got katsu curry. 97 calories a portion. But what is a portion? It's 487 calories for 100 grams. And there's 85 grams in there. Portion is 20 grams. Katsu curry. I also got a jerk sauce, which is 99 calories for a portion. They don't float my boat, to be honest. Neither of them float my boat. However, these do. Bought myself these. Whether I can get away with the kids not eating them before I do. Yes, they are a humongous bag, bigger than my head. But if you really want a bag of crisps and make it worthwhile, you know. Calories in these are 164 for 30 grams and there's 65 in there. So for a big bag of crisps, that's good calories. So they are technically mine. I bought some Hovis Premium Burger Buns. I'm going to be doing the kids a burger for lunch. 188 calories a roll, it's not bad. So that is them. I also got some mozzarella to put in the burgers. That is 57 calories a slice. Compare that to a normal slice of cheese, you're saving a lot of calories if you use mozzarella. Time out, I got orange and original. They are the same calories for the flavors. I bought myself two bags each of these they are 86 calories for the sweet and salty and 89 for the toffee obviously that's per serving what is a serving on here a third of the pack i thought i might take one of these to bingo to make it last they are quite full of air there's not as many as you would think in the bag I reckon they're probably just under half full. But yeah, Joe and Steph. My friend Sue introduced me to Joe and Steph. She'd had a hamper delivered and there was some stuff in it and she gave it to me. And it was bloody lovely. I'd never heard of them before, but they do pop up in Asda sometimes. I'm not sure if they're in Tesco or not, but they are delicious. So I've got two of them. I got four of these. They were the last four on the shelf, so I thought, thank you very much, I'll take you home. They are protein snacks, but they were with the yogurts, and they've got to be kept in the fridge. They're um, like a thick yogurt with a bit of a biscuity, soft biscuity. It looks a bit like a choc ice. Obviously, it's not going to taste nothing like a choc ice. Calorie-wise, they are 129 calories, and they're quite um, they're quite thick. So I've got four of them. Get me popcorns out of the way. I picked up a big bag of cheese and onion space raiders for the kids. 146 for 30 grams. They can share them. I've got some. Ice gems, 92 calories bag. <clears throat> I've just um, got my snack cupboard sorted out. I've still got my secret stash, which I can't lock because I've lost the lock. The kids have had it. I think they've hidden it so they can get in there when I'm not around. But I've got a cupboard and I've got like a big basket thing in there and I just chuck the snacks in there. Um, my trolley that Warren bought me, which he was like, for God's sake. Just got him to order me another one. I need two and I've worked it out. I can fit two side by side just so I can clear a lot more because I've got a massive, massive, massive pan um, that takes up all the cupboards. So I can put that on there. I can free up some more cupboard space for more snacks. You know, that was a joke, right? I got some grapes. Me and Michelle ate a punnet in the car. I ate more than she did, obviously. Um, 
Oh, and I picked up this because I've seen it. Now, it wasn't in the fridge. It was on the shelf, but I will keep it in the fridge. It's chocolate-flavoured squirty cream. I've got kids. They love that. I don't know whether I'll get to have any because with squirty cream, I think they go to the fridge and do what I used to do as a child, and they're like that. And then it's all gone. It's like, where's the squirty cream? But this one is... Let's have a look. 39 calories for... 12.5 grams that's really good that is for that obviously it's artificial tasting and it's crap in a can but you know i'll always tell you i'm honest i like a bit of crap i picked up these apple and cinnamon fruit grain bars they're like the nutra bars what are they called nutra grain bars you can buy 132 calories for one didn't think that was bad i got them I got Warren a bag of beef potato sticks because he really likes those. They are 124 calories for a fifth of the bag. Is it a fifth or a sixth? A sixth of the bag. I also picked up two halloumi cheeses. They are the 30% less fat, these ones. And they're 84 calories for a seventh of the pack. I thought I might do like a grilled halloumi salad or something in the week. Last three things. I got Warren some Barton's Piccalilli. He loves Piccalilli. Not a fan myself. But 100 grams is 40, 48 calories. That's good. So I've got Piccalilli. I saw this on the shelf and I thought, I'll try that. It's Barton's, but it's pickled cauliflower. I like cauliflower and I like pickles. Um, I know we've had pit mixed pickles before where you get the odd bit of cauliflower in it, but I thought I would buy a jar of that to see. And then the last thing I got, these are pickled eggs. They're the same make that we like the, um, the pickled onions by. So I got those and they're... The pickled cauliflower and those would be a power food. Don't have to count them. And that's everything I got. It wasn't really a shop. It was just a few bits I got when I was going around with Michelle. She did a shop where she got most of her bits she needed for the week. And that is it. So I'm going now. Put this stuff away. And I will uh, catch up with you for lunch. Which is going to be a... Low fat ready meal, which I only have to count half the calories. So I'll see you for lunch. So I fancy something to eat. I've put my shopping away. I'm going to have one of these that I just bought 132 calories. So it is lunchtime, 174 calories. It is one of these Tesco's calorie controlled meals. 348 calories. However, I'm only counting. Um, 174 because ready meals such as this one on the grow plan you only need to count half the calories so that is my lunch guys this is not burger in a bowl kids went out to play my son went to work Warren wasn't fast nor was I so I've made them curry and chips and belly pork which I marinated in some teriyaki and I have made this for myself so ham egg and chips 14 calories for the ketchup everything else is zero count so yeah that is my dinner so it is the end of the night i'm gonna sit and watch a bit of telly now i haven't had anything else after my food but i want something sweet so i'm gonna have these they are this many calories and i am coming in with this many calories not used which is good because after my weigh-in, I could have easily stuffed my face. But yeah, so onwards and downwards, as they say. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.